Hi folks, we're going to take a look at 245 number 17. Here they want us to determine the exact value of cos of 13 pi over 12. So since this is not a special angle, uh, I'm going to have to try to write it as a combination of special angles. Okay, so again, think of your special angles as uh, um, fractions over 12. Okay, so there's probably lots of ways in which you can combine them to get 13 pi over 12. The one that comes to mind is 9 pi over 12 plus 4 pi over 12. Okay, and this here ends up just being divide top and bottom by 3, so 3 pi over 4, which is definitely a, a special angle in the second quadrant. And um, here, this is just going to be pi over 3, which of course is one of our main special angles. Okay, so that means that I can rewrite this expression as cosine of 3 pi over 4 plus pi over 3. Okay, and now I can use my cosine addition formula to split this up into um, uh, expressions with the individual angles. Okay, so this is equal to cos of the first times cos of the second, okay, minus sine of the first times sine of the second. Okay, and now here I've got a whole slew of um, trig ratios that I can determine the exact value of. Okay, so I'll make myself a couple little diagrams. So here let's start with pi over 3. Okay, 1, 2, root 3. And then here let's do 3 pi over 4. It's going to be pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4 in the second quadrant. So this is going to be negative 1, 1, root 2. Okay, and now I can just read my answers off these. Okay, so cosine of 3 pi over 4 is negative 1 over root 2. Okay, cosine of pi over 3 is just going to be 1 over 2. Minus sine of pi, uh, 3 pi over 4 is going to be 1 over root 2. And then here, sine of pi over 3 is just going to be root 3 over 2. Okay, positive root 3 over 2. Okay, and now I'm just going to simplify. So this is going to be negative 1 over 2 root 2, and this is going to be minus root 3 over 2 root 2. <coughs> Excuse me. And so this is going to be negative 1 minus root 3 over 2 root 2. Okay, now uh, as a quick check, you know that cosine is going to be negative in the third quadrant. This is clearly in the third quadrant because it's slightly bigger than pi, so it's somewhere down there. So it makes sense that cosine is going to be a negative value. Okay, so just to recap, um, when you see an angle like this, you know you want to try to write it as a combination of special angles. I chose 9 pi over 12 plus 4 pi over 12, uh, you know, 10 pi over 12, which is uh, 5 pi over 6, plus 3 pi over 12, which is pi over 4. That would have worked also. So there's more than one combination that might work.